Once again, I forgot to turn on the GoPro coming down the backside, which is fine. I've done nothing impressive, but it snowed up here. There's freaking snow on this side. I didn't see snow on the other side. It's weird how that happens. Or hail. They got they got something white. <laughs> is the point of it. We're into that season. Ooh, don't go off. <sighs> Just get your butt on the very back off the rear brake and kind of just go down. And if you feel the back come up, you can kind of set your butt down and it will kind of force the, the back back down to the ground. Anyways, that's, that's my little tip for the day. <laughs> Ooh, backside of Rosa. I'm not good at going down this stuff. I won't lie. I'm better going up. Whoa, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Man, you scared me. <laughs> I was like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I'm not dressed in like the most noticeable thing. Little walking black bear. <laughs> you know, they got snow up here last night, apparently. There's some white stuff. Oh, up on the... As you get further up, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. There's so. no Oh, you won't need that. No, there's not. It's just, you could just see it. Yeah. It's that time of the year now, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to do Rosa before it gets bad. Yeah, I, I hear you there. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm doing pipes next week, so it's a good little primer for that. Yeah, it is. About two thirds of a elevation gain to do on pipes, so yeah, good little practice. Well, at least you're not on a mountain bike. I one time saw a guy pedaling up this. He's like, how much further? I was like, oh, you got a ways. <laughs> he was like, my buddy said it was a shortcut. So what do you all think? Isn't that how interactions should go? Nice and friendly. Then we're all out here enjoying. I don't mind stopping. Let him just continue. I love how some people watch like short, the TikTok videos, the reels on Instagram or YouTube shorts and they think that short clip is like 100%. They, they know how it went down because they saw the short clip. It's like, they have no idea how the interaction went down, you know? Some things could have been left out at the beginning. I mean, it could be a whole long video and something is cut out. So you think you're gonna know something in 15, 30 seconds? No, you're not. So it, it's hilarious that people like are pretty adamant pretty adamant about leaving like a smart ass comment as if they know the situation. It's funny. It is pretty funny. So, you know, we're all out here just having fun at the end of the day. That's, that's how interactions should go. Yeah, there's people that speak out and don't know if it's a legal trail or not. You gotta figure they're not from from around here, they've never done the trail before, and they shouldn't be speaking. I'll grant you that. They, they shouldn't be speaking. I mean, I only get confrontational when I damn well know I, when I get yelled at. And it's human nature. It's human nature to get yelled at and then be defensive because you do know it's illegal and you're told it's not what are you talking about you're now you're accusing me 
of something very serious. Because <laughs> let's say I'm going to ride a social trail, aka pirated trail. A, I'm not going to tell you where it's at. B, if I came across somebody and they got all huffy, A, it's a pirated trail for everybody. So, A, why are you out here? But I'm probably just going to be like, why are you here? You shouldn't be here either. And I'm going to continue on. Because, you know, it's just, would be ridiculous to get into an argument. You can't be here. Well, you shouldn't be either. You know, I don't go out there and ride dedicated hiking trails. I've accidentally found myself on them before because of areas I don't know and poor sign markets. And I've, even though, even that time, those guys weren't even angry. They were just sarcastic, like, 30 years of mountain bike in this area. I've never seen a motorbike out here. And we're just like, ah, uh, we came in over here off a legal single track that we know is legal, and we turned right. <laughs> and we're very sorry if we ended up on this, but there was no sign at all on the east side. And we popped out at this trailhead parking lot with these people with mountain bikes and it's like sorry. You know? I mean if you don't want people to make a mistake coming off a legal single track, you got guys hot to trot to do single track. You came down to a, a Jeep road and then you're like, hey, there's this trail going off to the right. And there's a bunch of trails going off to the right. Okay, we'll take one. It doesn't say one way or the other. And the funny part is, that time, some of the guys in, my, in the group were like our high, hardcore mountain bikers. So, you know, it's like they didn't want to be there either. But we kind of, you know, dove into some single track without the BLM having it well marked. It happens. No reason to get pissy at somebody. Being sarcastic is probably the way to go, you know? Yeah, we're sorry. We'll take a look up here. Just let us know, as we told that, those guys, the group of guys at that single track, it was like a, a split. We came to a junction with many single tracks. So guys were taking a break. We decided to take a break. And that's when the conversation came up. And it's basically like, hey, tell us the shortest way to get out and we'll get out. You know, we told you where we came from. It was a mistake. Sorry about that. And now we know. Hey, <laughs> you know, maybe if you guys see a ranger, tell them they need to put a couple signs down off of that road. <laughs> you know, because you're riding along. Even if you have a paper map, trying to figure out where you're on on those paper maps. That's where co a co trucks is pretty good, but it doesn't show everything all the time. Especially if there's new stuff, what have you. But it is a good reference now. This was before Kotrex. So, yeah, so now Kotrex we could pull out. But at the time, like, even if we had a paper map, it'd be like, you have to, well, you have to guess where you're at because you really don't know. And then you got to guess because they don't even show you, like, topo or anything. You're just like, uh, what is this? Yeah, Forest Service Motor Vehicle Use Maps are, are useless. They are some of the most useless maps out there they used to be the way to go to like just peruse national forest to look for trails right but then now it's all co-tracks you just go sit at your desktop look and uh you know see what you can find so yeah, I highly recommend co trucks to people. And if you're in Colorado and you have somebody get huffy at you and tell you a trail that you're on that you know is legal, like that guy ever told me this, just mention co trucks. Be nice about it. Mention that their tax dollars pay for it. You know, who cares about all trails or Gaia? People mention those, and they might be fine. They might be decent, but you can't. You're in Colorado. You got something that shows you the majority of the public lands. 
and this is really washed out overnight I mean we started trail taker at the time before there was a co tracks and really we would have been much bigger if we would have had the resources to develop an app and stuff and our ideas and, and still are are far beyond what Cotrex is. You could actually we broke up all the, the shape files. So Cotrex just shows you the government files like anyone can download. You can go and download the GIS, the the shape files from the various GIS organizations like the Forest Service, BLM. In fact, that's public data. You can just e find the GIS person and email them and get the the files. And so that's how they do roads and stuff. That's there's files and then that data because public data you can get and that's how maps are put together and that's how they get speed limits for these roads if you wonder on GPS units because all that stuff is tracked in these files nowadays of where speed limit signs are so this is a 65 zone this is a 55 a 75 zones and so on that's why you're on your car or if you have a new car or your gps unit or your phone will say like you're in a 55 zone if it if the data is there it knows and they the data is there for a lot of stuff the data is there for much more than they even import the data is there for how often does this get graded there's a schedule there's codes for in the in the shape file in the shape file see the shape file is a little more confusing because the shape file might say this uh, forest road 381 this section gets this maintenance schedule this section gets that ma a different maintenance schedule and then that's how they kind of maintain things and this might have a 10-year maintenance schedule for example whereas gold camp road or old stage road might have a yearly grading schedule so they they track all this stuff so that that's kind of how it all works and they're and it's public data so trail taker that's kind of what we were whoa somebody broke off the rear fender uh that's that's kind of like where we were at with uh we we had made it so we had put like one multiple route automatically had a program that you put it in the shape file put in the file and it would spit out break up all the various roads like rampart range road is like five different sections because it has different maintenance schedules and what have you well it would it would put that all together and make it one gpx file and then we displayed the gpx file and you could click on that and download it. it well the idea was also which we never implemented was you could click on it rate it leave your reviews leave video links pictures and really just review the various routes that we had up there and the idea we're the kind of desktop people we like browsing stuff while we're sitting at our desktop but was to make an app and was to be able to do this also through an app so a lot of guys didn't like the fact that even though you could download the gpx file and display it in whatever gps program you wanted guys wanted an app and that's where i try to get us to do an app and uh, the guy I had issues with he wasn't really an app guy although i ever thought he could have learned it i just i just think he kind of lost interest i don't know what his deal was i've talked about that but you know we had a lot of great plans for that and be able to really expand so i think the idea is there still and it's a valid idea that you could You could uh, make uh, one of these apps that are a lot more trail orientated and, and like Cotrex could really be where you did, can download the GPX file. They could break it up. We even had 
went through and added elevation data because you can you can get that through the government you send them a hard drive they'll put on for the whole u.s like you get like all the elevation data and then what you do is with the elevation data is we he met my partner made a program and he would run those through in the points on the map have elevation and we could connect the two together and put elevation to those points and thus we had a chart. It wasn't all just like don't know that whole elevation. Aha! Uh -huh. So, you know, we were having cool stuff and we wanted more cool stuff, but he lost interest or whatever. Whatever his reason was, whether I'm racist or whether or he's a pedophile, I don't know. I don't know. But whatever it is we we had great ideas there that would have blown co-trax away you know and yeah it would have been for business because business versus co-trax is your tax money but yeah we, you know there would have ended up down the road everything we did was free because we never got to a pay model but was to implement a low fee and maybe have different fees based on what you want, you know? Maybe if you want to read reviews, if you just want to browse the site, you can browse the site for, site for free. But if you want to read the reviews and see the ratings, maybe that's a, a low payment yearly, you know? And it, it was for the whole country. It wasn't just for Colorado. That was the other cool thing. It was the United States Forest Service shapefile. So it was for the whole country that had reported data. And same with BLM. It was for the whole country, not just Colorado. So <laughs> that's that's where Cotrux fall, falls apart, you know. I, now, I don't know why Cotrux doesn't approach it to the degree of saying, even though it's a state program, saying, you know, we could get New Mexico to fund this by us managing their data set and putting that up there for everybody. Or Utah, you know, you hit all the neighboring states. And you say, hey, you know, for X amount, and instead of you developing your own, you we handle that and we just bring in your safe out. We already have a system in place. We bring it in, we import it. It helps you, it helps us. You know, everyone that rides these trails, it's going to help. And it helps them stay the trail. I mean, let's let's be honest here. So yeah, co trucks. I I love co trucks. It is something that works really well. Um, I've promoted it quite a bit, even though near the end of our the trail taker days, I was kind of like, yeah, go co trucks people. I'm sorry about trail taker, but if you're in Colorado, co trucks is where it's at right now.